Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, back from the National, back from my little vacay, and back with some pristine baseball. 2022 Tops Pristine Baseball, four box, half case, pick your team five. Odd numbers, generally speaking, on half case breaks, odd numbers, half case from a fresh case. So I'll show you the list in a second, but let's pop this case open first. Sort of an awkward size for my break table here. Switch screens right there. Stacks of four. There's one stack of four right there. And there's another stack of four right over here. So we're going to select a die and then we're going to roll the die. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two. Left side. So this side we will save for break number six which I already loaded up, uh, with a little work, a little luck, we may be able to break that tonight. So we'll put six right there with the underline so no one mistakes it for break nine. <laughs> I don't think it will. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. These are, this is, uh, for some of you will remember, this is the pack within the packs, within the packs. And so it's a little work to get through this break, but I feel like Christine has been pretty generous with, uh, with some nice hits most of the time. I mean, obviously with any break, there could be good breaks, bad breaks, but I feel like they did a pretty good job with these. Oliver, what's up? We'll do those in case cards last. Thanks, Oliver. It's good to be back. Been knocking off a little bit of rust here. Kind of got to get myself out of vacation mode and into into uh, into work mode here a little bit. Cooperstown was amazing, Oliver. I had a, I had a really wonderful time. At Cooper Town, uh, yeah, town is is really small, but uh, I had enough time to breeze through the museum twice. You know, I, I went there in the morning, went through it, and there's ins and outs. So I, I got lunch, and then I went back in for another round. It was a lot of fun. Um, I was there when Vince Scully passed away, which definitely uh, shed some tears for Vince Scully, a, a voice of my upbringing. Um, but I was hoping that there would be some sort of impromptu, like, I thought there would be some sort of impromptu memorial there, but there wasn't the next day. But... Um, but yeah, I got to see his name in the Hall of Fame. That was cool. All the old plaques there. Uh, the town, yeah, everyone, I think you told me as well, everyone, everyone was saying the town is really small. And, and people, and I've been to small towns before, but I was like, all right, how small could it really be? It was really small. I could, I could walk up, and if this was, that line is Main Street, I can get from one end where the Hall of Fame is, and like the library, and there's like a post office. But from one end to the other end, right, Main Street, where shops are and stuff. I could make that walk, if I'm just walking briskly, I can go from one side to the other in like five, 10 minutes. But, because it was small, I pretty. I think I poked my head in every single shop that's there. Um, 
David Adams has a, uh, a Topps shop there. Like they, they collaborated with Topps, so they got a little baseball card shop there. Poked my head in there, was not recognized. Um, but yeah, they got that little shop there, a lot of other baseball card shops, memorabilia shops, little cafes, restaurants that were pretty great. Um, another great shop there was uh, was Riverwood, which was like a, it's kind of like a, a, a little game shop, but with a lot more other wacky little trinkets. It was a nice change of pace from all the, all the baseball related stuff, but all the baseball shops were great. Um, I went to this shop that had the, that hall, pretty much had a ton of these minor league baseball caps, but that store was packed. I couldn't really, didn't have the patience to wait. Everybody was trying on hats and stuff like that. But it was, it was beautiful though. It was a great town. It was a great Italian restaurant called Toscana. That was really good. Had dinner there. Um, I guess the only thing, me being a big city kid, I wasn't used to everything closing like at nine o'clock basically, local time. So even like the bars I think at the latest would close like at 10 o'clock or something like that, at least in, 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 in Cooperstown. And so, so I was like asking some locals, like what do you guys do? Like, I'm like, hey, I didn't, uh, I'm still kind of on, on a mix between LA time and there's Juan Soto National Edition to 99. So I was like, where can I go get a late night drink that doesn't exist here? But it was still great, it was fine. I survived. Hey, here's Doogie, Alex Verdugo, former Dodger, jersey and autograph for, oh, I didn't even show you the team list, I'm sorry guys. See, knocking off some, some post-national, post-vacation rust. Here it is, on Sunday the 7th, pick your team of five. There's everybody right here. So that'll go to Eric and the Red Sox. Michael got last bought mojo with the Royals. There's everybody. Yeah, I guess I could go to on Oniona. I don't know how to pronounce those names out there. Onietta? But then, you know, there's it's not very many rideshare services out in the middle of the woods. So I don't know how I would get back if I were to indulge in some adult beverages, Oliver. Eric J with the Red Sox. Uh, Kyle Seeger goes to the Mariners. Corey Cote with that. Chad Dawes, favorite player. <laughs> Willie Stargell, three out of 50. Pirates, that's for Michael. Losia. The Juan Soto Nationalist Edition will go to TJ and the Nats. And a nice O'Neill Cruz rookie card will go to Michael as well. Nice, all right, and your encased cards. Do I have a blank card? No, I don't have a blank card near me, but there's Jose Canseco. Nice, orange parallel, 25 out of 25. Next up is Tatis Jr., and that's for the A's, Oliver Soria. There you go, Oliver. Ali Ali. Tatis Jr. for the Padres, for Ariano. Chris Bryant, Giants. Edition of Chris Bryant going to Jeremy, 47 out of 50. There's A-Rod, Rangers edition of Alex Rodriguez. That'll be for Jeremy as well, Jeremy R, to 75. Hey, part of the big red machine, Joe Morgan. Red legs, that's going to be for Eddie H. And Jake Berger, mmm, burgers. I had a nice burger at Mel's 22 in Cooperstown. All right. Next box. Good luck. Fourth Conseco in your last two. You're starting your Jose Conseco PC, whether you intended to or not. I, I you know what? I bought like little knickknacks, like, like magnets, like a baseball coaster. I, I really, it was, you know, some little trinkets here and there, but I really didn't. Uh, Really didn't buy as much as I thought I would. I I planned for it, but I think I, there I think there was too much choice. Oh, nice! You were at the game. Yeah, too bad Juan Soto can't pitch, right, Oliver? 
Dodgers were all over Padres pitching. But I don't know. I, th I think there's going to be once Tatis Jr. comes back, and then later in the year, I'm sure the Dodgers have another series, or probably a couple more series with the Padres. It's going to be very interesting. Padres are not going to be happy that they were uh, that they were swept. Exciting, uh, an exciting finish, I think. That extra playoff spot, I think, is going to get a lot of people, a lot of teams interested in staying in the hunt and hungry. Oliver, uh, Oliver, I uh, spent with uh, with Nick's brother. I spent uh, a few hours at the Roger Dunn yesterday. <laughs> Brandon's like, man, those Padres, these brown and yellow jerseys are so ugly. I kind of like them. A little nostalgic. But Soto, yeah, Juan Soto definitely does look weird in a Padres uniform. That's for sure. What did I do at the Roger Dunn? Spent a lot of money at the Roger Dunn, Oliver. Uh, I got myself a a tailor-made hybrid, a Sim 2, I think. I don't know the names of these things, but I did at the time. I think a 4 or a 5? Four, 4, I want to say. A rescue club. Um, I got a tailor-made putter. I did not get a blade, I did not get a mallet, but I got one that's kind of in between. There's a name for it. Got a putter. I didn't get properly fitted. I don't know if I'm at that at that point yet, but I was, remember we were talking about how I maybe need to get like a shorter, uh, uh, maybe have the shaft cut down a little bit, but they did my, they did my wrist to floor measurement and everything. They were like, these clubs are fine. You're, you're a standard you're a standard length guy. And I was like, good. I don't mind being standard length. It's fine with me. And and I got a wedge. I got a 52. And then eventually, if, if I get... I just want to work with that wedge for now. And if I do okay with that, then maybe I'll add a, add a 58. Um... A 58 to that as well, but for now I think I could get away with just the, just the 52, and just kind of get good at that. Like, yeah, yeah, or maybe a 56 and a 6. It just depends on how. On, on <laughs> I don't even know what my game is. So I have to figure out that. Ooh, this is a super fractor, and it's Tom Seaver, the original Tom Terrific. One of one for the Mets. That's Eric J with the Metropolitans. A nice one of one. I like the more subtle look of the Super Fractor design in the background there. I really like that. It looks really sharp. It's got a general sort of goldish feeling there as well. Eric with the Mets. Eric. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Nice, that is sharp. We got a Brand Lau for the Rays to 99. That'll be for Jeremy R. And a Scott Rowland. Remember Scott Rowland? 
Jersey and autograph. That'll be for Jonathan B. and the Fightin' Phils. Nice. All right, and you're in case cards. We got Wilson Contreras. Really, Cubs really should have moved him. 10 out of 15. Nice little number for Jeremy and the Cubs. Michael Conforto, 46 out of 75. That'll be for um, the Mets. Eric, once again, we got a Mo Vaughn autograph. Pure power auto for the Red Sox. That's another one for Eric Jay. He's heating up. He's on fire. We got John with the Brew Crew. Gets the Robin Yount auto. 41 out of 50. Nice. Great mustache on him as well. We got Kyle Schorber, Red Sox edition for Eric. And a Matt Manning autograph. I kind of like the... M that he's going with there. Creative. That for Jeremy R. and the Tigers. All right, we're halfway through this half case break. Two boxes to go. Oh, I, and I also, Oliver, and for other golf fans who care, um, I'm getting into the golf, as you can tell. Uh, I uh, I got new grips on my on my clubs. So got the fresh fresh grips on those irons, and uh, yeah, got a full size golf bag to hold everything, and I've got a little little Sunday bag too for the driving range. But got a full size bag. And so now the now those irons they, they feel feel as good as new. Got a little little fatter grips too because that I think that helps me uh, not keeps reminds me to have a lighter grip on the uh, when I'm swinging. Yeah, I'll definitely let you know, Oliver, when when I'm when I'm ready. Might have to start on some par threes, but but yeah, I'm eager to kind of keep working at keep working at it, and then uh, eventually getting the confidence to get out to to a proper golf course, or even just a par three would be great. All right, I gotta hold it like an egg. Um, I think really the next I I worked a lot on my grip. So I feel like I've got a pretty pretty good grip that I'm happy with. And I played a lot of tennis, so so the grip part of it, I think, uh, came a little more naturally to me. And then, my swing's pretty decent too. Just gotta be a little more consistent on that swing. And then, I'm trying to think, well, yeah, the tennis definitely help, helps me out, at least with some of the grip fundamentals and, and hip rotation fundamentals and all that sort of stuff. Torso rotation fundamentals. So I've got a good foundation. Golf's obviously different, but. But yeah, I think the next big step after, after sort of fine tuning sort of swing stuff and at least getting it for a beginner, at least getting it to a, a comfortable place. Right, I think the next thing is yardages. Just kind of figuring out where this is going to go, how far this is going to go. I just got to figure that out because I feel like those are kind of all over the place. You know, so I'm not I'm not getting a consistent separation in distances with with the irons that I'm working with. So basically, <laughs> the seven, eight, and nine are basically going. The same distances, basically. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta figure that out.
Alright, next box. Sure, Gilo. If you want to, if I'm ever, I mean, this may be years down the road, but if I'm ever in a position where I need a caddy, and, I, and if I'm playing a tournament in the Kansas City area at your local, you know, and you know the, you know the yardages and the greens, I'll definitely have you be my caddy. Just pay you in cases? Well, you got to know about catting. You don't get paid unless I get paid. <laughs> so. But I'll give you the standard, whatever percentage it is that caddies get if I'm in the money. It's Kyle Lewis to 25 for the Mariners. Corey C. Got a gold Whit Merrifield. Cool Whit to 50. That's for Michael and the Royals. Got Spencer Watkins to 99. For Aaron and the Orioles. And the jersey and auto is Larry Walker. Nice one for the Rockies. Keith with the Rocks. Great penmanship from Larry Walker. Yeah, Oliver is a big fan of Larry Walker. He's... There is Freddie Peralta for the Brew Crew. John, 28 out of 50. Mmm, beer. I want a I want a beer and burger, Jake Burger Seth Beer dual autograph. That'd be great. A beer and a burger, burger and a beer. Seventy five. That's for Sean Barnes and the Snakes. Another Seth Beer, not numbered for Barnsey and the Snakes. There's Big Mac Cardinals edition. That will be for Matthew Wood. Fourteen out of fifty on that one. Nice Big Mac autograph for Jonathan B. J T. Real Muto. And another autograph. That's Jared Kalanick. Seattle Mariners, Corey Coat. Final box coming up. Oh yeah, FedEx Cup playoff season, ladies and gentlemen. That starts uh, this week, this Thursday, I want to say, probably round one. Tim, what's up? I, I am back from the National, my vacation to Cooperstown, which was great. Yeah, I think, sorry, Brandon, I think you were mentioning, yeah, I did go to Cooperstown. It was lovely. Um, just a beautiful small town feel. I'm a big baseball fan, so I got a lot out of it. You know, the people were super friendly there. You know, Met a lot of nice folks. Everyone's super nice. Is it here in LA? I don't know. It's the big city. And people, people are a little more, a little, a uh, little tougher in the city. But there is a, a genuine niceness that, that, that's out there in the forests and the lakes of Western New York. So that's delightful. But yeah, if you're a big baseball fan, ladies and gentlemen, I, I think it's sort of a weird trip because really there's not that much to do. <laughs> but but if you're a big baseball fan, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. But like if you're in a trip to New York or Buffalo for whatever reason, 
you know, take a couple extra days to drive out to uh, Cooperstown and back. You know, I think it's a good like sort of. I mean, I would do it just to just to go. You know, it was convenient that we were already on the East Coast, but but uh, I'd go again just to go directly there. Great. It was really nice. You know. But yeah, put on the yeah. But yes, Tim, it was great to meet you at the shop. It was great to great to hang out. And put a put a face to the name. But the drive up there is beautiful. You know, you can do the trip solo. Do it with your buddies. Um, do it if you got. You know, if you got kids, it definitely takes it. It's really super family friendly, so I, I think it's a great trip for the kids. There's a nice lake out there. You can, I didn't do any of the other ancillary stuff, but there's a lake out there. Saw a lot of people walking down Main Street with fishing poles. Um, there's boat tours around the lake, kayaking, paddle boarding, all that usual lake stuff. There's antiquing. There's a golf course there. There is a golf course right there that's that's right next to the lake, which was pretty awesome. I actually didn't realize. I mean, I knew it was there, but I didn't realize how nice it looked until, until I was actually there. After I finish this break, we'll do. If there's nothing else sold out. We'll go to Google Maps and I'll show you what that golf course looked like. So maybe the next by the next time I go, maybe I'll be proficient enough to uh, to, to play around there. I think I'm still a little I'm not sure where my where my body clock is. <laughs> so I think we went to New York for the National, which was awesome. Ooh, and there's nice Luis Robert by popular demand. John Rubner for the White Sox, nice. But we were at the National, which was in Atlantic City, of course, as some of you saw, as some of you, most of you know. And um, so I think, I feel like I was just getting adjusted to, I'm pretty slow with adjusting to time changes, but I feel like I was just getting used to East Coast time, and then I flew back. And then now, I feel like I'm on East Coast time, so now it feels later. So, like, I'm get it, feeling a little low energy right now, so I feel like... It'll take me my work schedule this week to kind of put me back on, on, on track. But, but I won't be taking a, a big vacation again for a little while. So, so you got me for the rest of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Not until like Christmas time. All right. So there's that group there. Now let's see what our last in case cars. National next year is, uh, is uh, near you, Gilo. It's in Chicago. Nearer. There's Randy Ottozarena, 52 out of 99 for the Rays. Jeremy Razor. Nick Madrigal for the Cubbies. Jeremy Harder. There's Eduardo Escobar for the Brew Crew. John. Jesse Winker Reds, Eddie, to 75. We've got a Matt Chapman autograph for Oliver in the A's. Nice on-card auto, 22 out of 50 A's edition. And last but not least... Rhino, Ryan Sandberg, out of five. Look at that. That'll be for Jeremy Harder and his Cubs. Jeremy, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And there you go, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was pristine. Pick your team five. Sec I don't know where I put the other boxes. They're behind me. Second half of the case is already in the store. If you want to try to run this back tonight, we definitely can. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.